Christian Payne here, joined by victorious head coach Steve Gadelka for Lynchburg. 15-8, to eight, the final, the Hornets over Cortland State. Fantastic play across the board, but you look to seven different goal scorers today, coach, in the mix, most namely Austin Stewart, a homecoming for number 13. Yeah. There wasn't a shot they didn't like today with five goals. No, Austin's a special player, you know, and um, he, he's got a great knack of putting the ball in the back of the cage, and we don't mind him, you know, taking taking the shots, obviously. But, uh, you know, what, what was really neat, though, is like you said, those six other goal scorers, you know, you can't just rely on one guy. And I think we're starting to learn that as a team, you know, to do more, give more options for other guys. And um, we've been harping on for the last week and a half is just let the ball do the work, and whoever scores, scores, you know. And so uh, kind of the saying has been our, our whole is uh, greater than some of our parts, you know. And uh, so we're, we're hoping, we're working at it. It's work in progress. Offensive showcase today for Lynchburg. Another big statement win. You fast forward a couple weeks, you get that big win over Salisbury today, a big opponent in Cortland State. You get the W, you move on. But now let's look at the defensive end. Your goalkeeper had the hot hand in the first half, and his defense went to work in the second half to protect that crease. Hallie with a big day as well. Yeah, you know, Chris has played real real big in, in this year, you know, and, um, and he's earned that spot, and he played great tonight, I thought. And I thought the guys in front of him, you know, for the most part, played pretty well. You know, we gave up a couple goals that I think we'd all like back, but at the same time, that's what Cortland does to you. You know, they, they kind of can score at, at will. And um, But, yeah, to hold them to eight goals um, and, and in the way we did it, I thought was was definitely a, a great showing of our defense. Coach, let's talk about the depth. You run two great midfields, guys that are specialty players moving into the mix as well. How does that play into a factor when you got to – go against two top-notch opponents in two days here at Mustang Stadium. Tomorrow, you face Dickinson. Yeah, you know, that's what we just talked about in the locker room. You know, we, we have a, another midfield line that is itching and raring to go. Um, you know, we have a next group of attackmen, a next group of defensemen that, you know, they're just not maybe seeing the field as much as they'd like to right now, but they're there. And, and uh, you know, one of the reasons we do this weekend is to get us prepared for the ODAC. And, and hopefully, if we're in that semifinal and fortunate enough to be in the championship game, this is a great – a learning tool for our guys, you know, to be here we are at, you know, six o'clock or wherever it is at night and we got to come back and play tomorrow at one. And so, um, but, you know, it's for fitness and all those things playing the factor. And, and these kids get a chance to play lacrosse again tomorrow, which is heck of a lot better than, than, than practicing for sure. Coach Kadelka, it's your 19th season at Lynchburg. You've been through the tournament, been through big games. How does this stack up the Green Turtle Classic here at Stevenson? Talk about the event. Yeah, you know, I mean, hats off to, to Stevenson University. You know, Brad Adams, our athletic director, I've got to know him through the years. And um, and Paul, you know, Canopy, and obviously, they, they do a great job of putting this on. It's a wonderful facility. And, you know, for us, we have so many people from this area, and maybe not necessarily in Baltimore, but but all around, you know, from, from Philadelphia on down to D.C. So this is a pretty central location. And, they, they've put on a great show, you know, to add two more teams, to have three games. Obviously, the weather yesterday wasn't uh, accommodating as much, but to push it back, we had a beautiful day today. Um, ha hats off to them for all the stuff they do because there's a lot of logistical stuff that goes into this. And, and it's a special, it's a special uh, you know, tur Division Three tournament. It's highlighting some great teams at the Division Three level, um, and, and that's what we need. We need more of that at our level. March Madness for D3 lacrosse at its best here in Owings Mills. Coach, best of luck tomorrow in your matchup with the Dickinson Red Devils. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. For Steve Cadell, I'm Christian Payne or SFMSports.net. All right, Glenn Clark back here with you on SFMSports.net. Tough one today for Cortland falling 15-8 in the Green Turtle Mustang Classic. I don't mean to keep mentioning that, Coach Steve Bevel, but um, you know, just a day where it seemed to get away from you a little bit early on and, and unable, had a little bit of a moment there in the third quarter where you, you dug back in a bit, but uh, couldn't quite overcome that. Yeah, Lynchburg played great. Uh, you know, I got to give a ton of credit to them. They they definitely uh, they got out to the great start they needed to. You know, we had a bunch of turnovers early and never really recovered. You know, and, and I think that was a big part of it. Our ground ball work was weak, and uh, um, you know that hurt us too. And, and Lynchburg just played better. You know, they they deserve the win. And you know, right now they're a better team than us. So you know, it is what it is, and we got to fight. You know, fight and get better. And try to improve for the next game. Uh, if we look for positives in this one, maybe the, the face-off play was pretty good, especially in the first half. And uh, the other thing that really jumped out at me maybe would be Joe Scalise, who came in and uh, perhaps maybe makes things interesting for you moving forward in the goal. Yeah, you know, well, Pat, uh, you know, you're talking about the face-offs. Pat's been great all year. He's one of the top face-off guys in the country. And, uh, you know, he, he, he was great again today. I thought he was very good. Dissler did a good job uh, jamming him up a few times and, and, you know, picked up some penalties trying to do it. So, 
um, you know, that was a bright point for sure. And, and it was nice to get Joe in. You know, Joe's, uh, I think, going to be a great goalie. Um, you know, Scott's still the starter and, and uh, struggled early, and, and Joe came in and did a good job. But it was great to get him some experience, you know, and uh, and see a lot of shots against a quality offensive team. And, you know, uh, the, the two Lynchburg kids had both had fantastic games. And, I got like I said, you know, I give them credit. They played better than us tonight. Uh, obviously, not only a quick turnaround, but it doesn't really get easier tomorrow night. Yeah, Stevenson's excellent. They got a lot of great offensive players. And, you know, that's where we're struggling now is on defense. So, we got to figure out some ways to uh, make some stops, you know, maybe switch some things up from a personnel standpoint and, and uh, look at some other things we're trying to do defensively to, uh, you know, try to stop gap some of the, some of the rushes, you know, that, that uh, particularly happened tonight. But, you know, again, Stevenson's a, a very good offensive team. they got some very good defenders. They're, they're, you know, they're a top five team for a reason. So uh, we'll have to review some film tonight and uh, rest up and uh, try to figure out a way to uh, get after it tomorrow. And finally, I know the result wasn't good, but just the experience here at the uh, Green Turtle Mustang Classic and, you know, a lot of good teams in the field, a good atmosphere in the crowd after the weather issues yesterday, a, a pretty nice day today as well. Yeah, the weather was great. You know, we, we were pumped to get out. We hadn't played in a week, and, uh, you know, we were we were kind of jacked up to play last night, and unfortunately, you know, the weather kind of took a crazy turn on us. So, uh, but, uh, you know, it was a beautiful day, and it was a beautiful day for a lot of our guys to get some experience. It's just, uh, you know, unfortunate we just played poorly today. Well, Coach, we really appreciate you taking the time for us afterwards. Good luck the rest of the way, all right? Thanks a lot. Yes, Coach Steve Bevel from Cortland. A tough one today as they fall 15-8 to Lynchburg. I am Glenn Clark. Live from the Green Turtle Mustang Classic for SFMSports.net.